Gio, you brought it up. I just want to talk about it. Curvy rectangles. Yes. <laughs> this is an AP. Fascinating. Does your Siri have a male British voice? Yes, it does. You can choose, like, you can choose. American. Yeah, but like Siri is like, I don't know. It's a name. Whatever. I don't care. I hate Apple products. I don't know. And Halo Cortana is female. Like, I would I would feel weird if it was like, hi, Cortana. And she was like, hey, chief. I'd be like, <laughs> like, this is Halo like 38. Like, what happened to Cortana's voice? What happened to the voice actress? Like, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Yes. Stay away from drugs, kids, and stay away from cigarettes. They're terrible. Um, okay. Definitely nicotine addiction. This led to my voice dropping it off. <laughs> this is an AP Physics C problem. Look what you did, Gio. It takes very little thought beyond what we've already done. Okay. But we do need to use Geo's idea of a curly cylinder or a curvy cylinder. So what we actually have here is we have a long conducting cylinder. So we have a wire, okay? We've got a long wire, but for some insane reason, someone has hollowed out the center of it. So the center of the wire has nothing. And then here shaded is the wire itself, like the metal. And the outside is, you know, the air and whatnot. So it's a hollow wire. Someone was trying to create the first metal straw. Ooh. Just, it was like a very thick metal straw. Okay. Now, normally, when we are looking at a current, we have said, hey, the wire is just carrying the current uniformly. And when we went back and did this problem where we're looking at the cross-sectional areas of the wire, we pretended that the wire had a uniform current. No matter where you were in the wire, the same amount of current was flowing. And it was just how much current did you grab in that cross-sectional area? In this case though, our current is given to us as a current density. Our current density J is equal to C multiplied by R squared. Where C here is some constant, 3.0 times 10 to the six amps per meters to the fourth. What? It's a weird unit. Cause I got like length, width, height, fourth dimension. But we'll see why, okay. But it's a density. And what this density represents is that our current is changing as we move our radius. As I move some radial distance from here out to here, my current amount at those regions is changing. Okay? So I cannot just say, like, let's find some total current and then let's find, like, the area we have and call it a day. I'm going to need to... Think about how my current changes as I try to grab it all. So, what we're asked to do in this problem is find the B field at a point three centimeters away from the central axis. And A has a value of two centimeters, B has a value of four. So, our value of R here is in the middle of them. This is where we're looking for our B field. Oh, that's pretty good. Look at that. Look at that shape. Shape. Okay. So how do we do this? Well, I know this is like a wire, right? And I know the wire is going to create a B field in a circular motion. Even with the hole in the center, it's going to create a circular motion B field. Okay. So what I'm going to use is I am going to use B, uh, Ampere's law and I say, hey, look, I know this. The closed integral of B dot DS equals mu naught I enclosed, nothing has changed, 
Since I know that the B field created here is going to be circular, I'll draw the Empyrean loop in a circle so that we follow along. And that, with my clever positioning, is just going to give me B times 2 pi R equals mu naught I enclosed. Right? That's like what we've been doing. We just say, hey, look, how's the B field traveling? Let's try to get our loop to follow it perfectly. If it does, I just need the length of my loop. Woo! Before we get on to the enclosed current, which is going to be where our issue is due to this density, what do you think the B field in the center is? If you drew an Ampyrean loop there, is there any current? Nope. nope. What do you think the B field on the outside would be? If you drew an Ampyrean loop on the outside, all of your current is coming one way. Let's say like out of the board. So it's just going to be mu naught I, the total current, whatever that is, divided by 2 pi R. Outside of this, it's just going to look like a wire. Okay? Inside will be zero. Outside will be mu naught I for the total current, whatever it is, divided by 2 pi R for our Ampyrean loop. Okay? So careful on that one. We've done a lot of like zero, zero. But in this case, the inside zero because I can't contain any current. On the outside, I only have current in one direction for the wire. I will have something. Okay? So be careful there. But that's not the real headache of this problem. The real headache is if I'm creating my Ampyrean loop at the orange point, how much current am I containing inside this orange? And technically, Gio, your idea of a curvy rectangle, which I could technically draw like this. This is just two curvy rectangles. Wait, what the heck is that? They're just two curvy rectangles put together, right? It's like a rectangular circle. Or rather, it is kind of like a, a soup label. Okay. Um, what we actually need to do here is we need to add up currents going out. This line right here is going to have a different amount of current than the next line. And it's going to have a different amount of current than the next line, which is a different amount than the next line, which is a different amount than the next line. And the real issue here is that I'm drawing my lines too thick. My lines need to be thinner. They need to be so thin that I could give a line for every member of the intergalactic across an infinite number of systems for an infinite number of people in each system. So I need to start rocking an integral here to work my way out. So would that technically mean that where you're like at the very center, there's not going to be going to be like very I don't even need to worry about the center here. I, I mean, like, like in the loop, in the loop itself, the curve, like where you drew that orange line, will there be will be zero? And like here? No, no. no. Outside, like above it. There you go. No, there's still going to be current here because that current is given by CR squared. As I increase R, I get more current. Okay. So there's more current on the outside of this than the inside of this. Okay. What I'm going to have to do is the following. Each of these lines, what's infinitely thin, we can think of that infinitely thinness as still being a thickness. I can say, look, this green line here is actually... A circle with a length of 2 pi r, but it's a th circle with a tiny bit of thickness. And if I take this circle with thickness and I cut it in half and unroll it, what have I just created? I just created a rectangle. The length of my rectangle is 2 pi r. Because when I roll it back up, that was the circumference of my circle, right? And this circle, which I've rolled out, 
has a thickness to it. But this thickness is so thin that we're going to call it dr. It's infinitely thin. So what we are going to do in order to determine the total current we have, we are going to add up a bunch of these lines here. We're going to add up the pink, the blue, the maroon, the green, the yellow. We're going to add up all of these lines. And we're going to add these lines up. So fancy addition time. We're going to add them up from the inside where we're starting, which is A, because that's where we're starting here, you know, at that inner position, to some value of R. Now, what are we adding up? Well, we are adding up the current density and then the small pieces of area. We know these values, though. We know, from A to R, we know the current density is a constant times R squared. We know what DA is. The defense attorney. DA is 2 pi R times the small amount of DR. That is DA. Because this here is a small amount of area. It's infinitely small, but it exists. It is something. So over here, where I'm trying to add up all of those areas from my lines that I'm making, I can just say 2 pi R DA. This will be my total enclosed current that I have. I'm going to move a little faster here. If you know the calculus, yay. If you don't, seriously, don't worry about it. This is one of the easier integrals that you will quickly see with cotton in just a few short weeks. Constant, 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 pull them out. A to R, here's a C to pi. R squared times R, R cubed. Oops, this shouldn't be a DA here. Uh, what a scrub. This is a DR. DR. You can take that integral. You can take that integral to the bank. Cotton gives you that integral on a test. Oh boy, what a day. You're going to get 2C pi, whatever those are. R to the fourth over four bounded from a to r yes i know we're gonna blimp that away so i've got c pi over two times the quantity of r to the fourth minus a to the fourth this is the current enclosed and in this problem they gave us numbers so like we could drop in numbers here who cares right but that is our current enclosed. When we link this back for the rest of the problem, we get B, we get our two pi R, this equals mu naught times the current enclosed, which is C pi over two times R to the fourth minus A to the fourth. And then now we just need to dump the two pi R. So there's a two, there's a pi, there's an R. And at this point, we are champions. We whishink, we have that B equals uh, the pi and the pi die. The two and the two become a four. So we're going to get mu naught C over 4R times the quantity R to the fourth minus A to the fourth. And we have numbers for all these things in the problem. So we can just shove in numbers and call it a day. Okay. This is actually really nice that we got R to the fourth and A to the fourth because the units of C, if you recall, were amps per meters to the fourth. So those values of R, which were in meters, and A, which were in meters, they're to the fourth now. So they will properly cancel and divide out, and we'll get our B field in proper units. Okay? That is very much an APC level problem. That's APC testable. You'll need to train to get used to that. Okay? You know how to do it. It's just a matter of like, can I see this? Can I do this? 
what's going on. If you're out there, adios. Bye, Dylan. Bye, Dylan. Bye, Dylan. Bye, Dylan. Bye, Dylan. Bye, Dylan.